1974, veteran Norwegian jazz vocalist Karen Krog stepped up her output with the Polydor release, We Could Be Flying, and from it, the track, Time To Go. Parts of me, ache and cry. I know that feeling just because this moment. Part of me is an aching cry. I know that feeling because this moment. Yeah, the lyrics aren't playing anywhere, but uh, one, one of those songs where uh, the vocals start immediately. My lifetime has become the hardest thing I have to face. Okay, I like the uh, the chord structure. We went from like G minor to F major seven, and now we're in E flat. Yeah. As the boys, all around the life, all around the years, very special years. Yeah, F uh, F sharp. Now uh, we um, have. I, I, I love the. Uh, the, the kind of creamy keyboard bed of this track, written by uh, Steve Kahn, and uh, co-credited in some media anyway to uh, the collaborators on this album, Steve Kahn, Steve Swallow, and John Christensen. All apart. Uh, Steve Kahn is responsible for the electric piano, the Fender Rhodes. Um, yeah, uh, Steve Kahn, the keyboardist. Um, I guess sometimes confused with uh, Steve Kahn, the. Uh, yeah. Stormy sound, yeah, thick, full, kind of, kind of autumny. Yeah, like windy autumn leaves, like blowing around and really thick wind. Yeah, we got the uh, sprinkling, sparkling of the fender up, up, kind of frontal. We've got the uh, bass, like stand, um, bass and drum kind of thickness, adding a lot of like sonic. <laughs> Yeah, electric bass, yeah. Playing uh, really loose with the uh, key movements uh, where it tends to land, um, but overall held together by the cadence, by the cadence consistency. <laughs> Misty sort of meltdown. Time to run away as far away as worlds of empty colors show the sadness. She has a real kind of seductive air to her voice, kind of uh, like uh, sort of like kind of like maternal, kind of, but but also very uh, like bedroomy. Yeah, kind of like a, a sexy, sophisticated, older woman. Well, she was uh, like 37 at the time that this album was made. Okay, basically, uh, you know what I'm getting at. Time to go as fast as all the years went by me waiting for tomorrow's sun to tell me why. I love the tonal color and how it how it uh, 
matches the chordal beds that we're landing on, like the major sevenths, the flats and sharps. F major seven again. With the persistency of that little like a uh, wood block. Yeah, fading out all misty, uh, misty major seven, that kind of seductive sort of slanted eye type chord with her like airy seductive vocals and just the kind of windy vibe of the arrangements like uh, almost as if like I said autumn earlier it's almost like the uh, tonal color of that kind of sprinkling sparkly fender could represent the different colors of autumn leaves blowing around outside amid kind of the uh, um, the romantic setting of her and um, let's uh, hear another track from the album We Could Be Flying, the title track. <laughs> stormy intro with piano this with like acoustic piano this time in G minor misty uh, cymbal spray hearing a bit of a uh, flexiton that like kind of whirly instrument you know there's a feel that comes in spring Oh, she says spring, although once again I'm getting kind of more of like an autumn vibe. Uh, kind of like a windy, you know, but like sparkly little piano. Hear that twirly sound. That... A touch of hope, a new beginning. Oh, chimes and cymbal spray and just the, the whole sparkly windy vibe, all these instruments coming together. Time's raising by now, but as it crossed my mind, I thought we all could end up with Yeah, this is very much uh, dominated musically by Steve Kahn, who uh, she says in an interview with Self Titled Mag um, about this track. Uh, her quote, I spent a few months working with the English composer and pianist Richard Rodney Bennett. Uh, Richard had an encyclopedic knowledge of great songs and introduced me to the song by Michael Collinburn and Paul Williams. It captured the adventurous spirit of the 1970s really well, I think. Uh, uh, let's see, what does it say on, on, um, on Discogs? Oh yeah, it credits, yeah, Michael uh, Collinburn, uh, the uh, French composer, uh, Film for film music, who um, put out this great grand album in 1971 that was um, produced by Herb Alpert. Yeah, on um, a and M had like this all star. Oh, I, I, oh yeah, Wings is the album that I'm thinking of. Yeah, that's that will be a subject for a whole nother. But um, Steve kind of, of course is dominating this track uh, musically with his piano. She she uh, mentions him in, an, in a, another song, uh, uh, coming on another song from the album. Steve Kahn was the pianist on the Pete LaRocca version of Lazy Afternoon that had inspired me earlier. I must say that at the time I never imagined that I would actually get to work with Steve. And then um, talks about his um, work on the song uh, Raindrops, Raindrops, another song from the song that we're listening to. Love is rising like the summer sun Caught in the silence of a hello Rolling the words across the sky Once again, another uh, major... 
going into some of the same uh, key centers that we we're hearing in the last track, it seems to be a natural for her. We've, we've been through G minor, uh, uh, duh, F, uh, I think this is maybe F7, uh, because I'm, I think I'm hearing like F and E flat. Now I'm hearing, now I'm hearing E flat. There's a feeling that comes in spring G minor When all the world's alive and shining Yeah, G, B flat Waiting to touch us all, the youngest and the old voice just like soar up yeah now she's being a bit more grand more kind of uh more like a show woman like and if we could we'd all be blind I always feel that deep inside you know uh, come to think of it uh she kind of is almost like a kind of european equivalent to nancy wilson in some ways that both had that kind of, uh, is that both vocalists could range from kind of like, like show woman, like to sort of bedroomy, seductive, and kind of have that maternal quality and that sophisticated lady type quality, that kind of stateswoman like quality about them. Yeah. Um. just that piano sparkle around that key and and I think I uh, getting some uh, like uh, <clears throat> stand-up bass this time <laughs> The density I'm trying to uh, uh, separate in my head there, it, it seems like the, the, the drumming seems to like be responsible primarily for the sonic thickness that we're hearing, as like the piano like sparkles all over it. <laughs> Like, like three instruments basically creating all this v volume and, 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 and sonic thickness and, and maybe like a few sundry like hand percussions adding little touches like hand or hand you know activate like well the um, the vi if the if the vibra slap I, excuse me if, if the flexiton is still there it's quite uh, submerged at this point <laughs> Constant symbol giving us like a, sort of a misty sound, like 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 spray mist type sound, almost like like waves, you know, hitting hitting the shore. Waves hitting the rocks. Thick amplified bass up front. There's a feel that comes in spring. You know, I actually couldn't quite tell whether that was a stand up or, or an electric bass. It's it. it um, it, 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 I guess it's the way it was just so amplified. 
And yeah, I'm not really hearing any frets on it, but um, it certainly doesn't sound like a fretless electric bass. When all the world's alive and shining Waiting to touch us all the youngest and the old And you each day the villain lining Um, yeah, the lyrics aren't printed anywhere, but, um... I knew the lights around us all Could we be flying? I always feel that deep inside. I always feel that deep inside. Trying, trying. Basically, kind of just like a, a sort of like monochordal um, interlock between that bass, the piano, uh, being being more more confined, uh, key wise for for the moment here, and a constant like tap on the cymbals, uh, a, a less misty kind of just kind of side tap on the on one of the big cymbals. <laughs> And that kind of rattling. We could, we all be flying. We all be Oh, getting a little bit kind of avant garde with her vocals there. You know, stretching out those syllables, kind of cutting them up, giving sort of. Um, uh, 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 <clears throat> tremolo effect. Um, E flat. an E flat major seven. I, it didn't feel too forced to, to put a D over it. D D D D D That was Karen Krog with We Could Be Flying, the title track from her 1974 Polydor release. Um, yeah, a period that saw her getting more prolific, um, having been active since the early 1960s at least, um, maybe even late 50s. Yeah, born in 1937 uh, in Oslo, Norway. Oh, it says Krog has been recording since 1964. So she joined uh, the, I guess, oh, probably probably active, at least on the uh, live circuit a little bit before then. Anyway, yes, uh, Karen Krog, one of the um, elder stateswomen of European jazz, and who's worked with uh, musicians internationally and uh, yeah this largely recorded with um, American musicians at uh, Rosenberg studio uh, in Norway so uh, the uh, people here okay Steve Swallow basically plays electric bass on this album and uh, that kind of solves that question, yeah. yeah. I see him with... Oh, he's got quite an interesting... Huh. There's this... Uh, I, I click on his Discogs profile, and he's got this... What appears to be uh, a custom-made six-string bass. Yeah. Um, and uh, the cover to We Could Be Flying is quite surreal as well. It's got all these like flying uh, cr like 
oh, human butterfly type creatures and like Victorian garbed people in like these, uh, oh, like these 18th century flying devices, like, you know, those balloons, you know, those pre-aviation flying, flying devices, anyway, um, that were being used or at least theorized in Europe, even if it was only actually attempted or accomplished a few times prior, you know, um, during the Victorian era. Anyway, for more rubies and sapphires from the We Could Be Flying album and uh, Karen Krog's output during this period, see the directory of albums by Scandinavian artists linked in the description below. Like and subscribe and follow me on social media and leave a comment if there are any observations you have about the two tracks we just heard, the instrumentation, the interplay, um, the vocals, the misty vibe, and uh, most of all, the vocals of Karen Krog. And until next time, this is Aragon, the world's most air travel trimax most, signing off.